Welcome, everyone. I'm Zelda Kelly with Psychic Secrets, and you've come to the right place if you are a sun or rising sign of the air elements. We're doing the January 2024 predictions. If you are Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, well, this is for you. Now, we're going to be reading with a writer weight, and we're also going to be confirming with these beautiful, you see, these beautiful foiled overlay cards. We're going to put these to the side. And now let's get started. So while I'm shuffling, if you could please do me a favor, hit the like, subscribe, follow button, and all that good social media stuff. Won't you do that? That helps me. And if you can help me, then I can help you and bring you more content. I know you love it. Okay, wow, that one came out. Two of these came out. We're going to take them. That is the Six of Wands and the Chariot, also known as a Cancer element, the sign of Cancer, all right, which is a water sign. All right, so here we go. Cutting the deck again. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because we've had the same card for the Earth and water signs. I had to stop and think for a minute. Earth and water signs for January of 2024. That's happening. We're getting repeating cards and I'm shuffling. And I shuffle between videos too, so I can tell you that. So that means, well, we're going to get to that, but look at this. Mm, that's a beautiful card, the three of, three of Pentacles. I love this card. All right, so here we go. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. That's also pretty. We're going to put him to the side and we're going to talk about things. We just came out of a Mercury retrograde the beginning of January, like the first couple of days. That has hit everyone pretty hard. I mean, I think in December coming through of 2023, we've all, pardon me, we've all had a stinky year. And I mean, stinky year. Coming through, making sure that we are winning. But I'm going to go a little deeper. Not only are you winning, but it looks like you have been chosen. Now, if you're getting a new job or if you're getting a promotion, anything like that, the fiery wands are opening doors and bringing you opportunity. And look, Everybody is cheering you on. Everybody is happy. You are definitely going to start winning what you've been after in January of 2024. Now, this chariot card, you may have felt like you're going in separate directions or different directions. Well, I'm going to tell you something, my darlings. This is cancer energy as well as the sign of cancer and the zodiac. You love home. You love a home. You may be wanting to buy a home in January. You may be wanting to move. But I think you're going to be traveling, and that's what this is showing. There's going to be some travel. There's going to be perhaps something that is coming forward that, well, you might not want to do, but you're going to have to do it. Just because things are putting themselves in the direction that, you may have, well, put it off, and now it's time. That's okay, because I trust you. You are a very intelligent sign, and you communicate very, very well. And with this particular card, this two of wands, this fiery, you see the cape and the hat of this person is a power color. You've got the world in the palm of your hand. You're making decisions, and I think part of this decision is, even though you feel like you're winning, these decisions, I think, are based around finances and home for the month of January 2024. You're going to make the right decision. It looks like you may have already chosen, even though you're keeping your options open. But I'm also going to say this. It looks as though that you should be getting some advice, if you haven't already, now, this could be some advice on maybe even building a home. We don't know. You know. But I'm going to say this. 
you see, you see what this fellow has in his hand there standing and everybody is paying attention to him is because he has something to say. He's bringing a lot to the table. But the great thing about this is this is a builder's mall. A builder's mall is something that, well, when you're like a, a bricklayer or a concrete or a block layer, pardon me, that's what they'd use to tap the brick or the block or the concrete block or whatever it is, stone even, into place so it becomes level. What happens when it becomes level is that you're building a good foundation, and that's what it looks like. I, f I believe that the foundation is wrapped around your home and, the, and, and maybe money, but I think mainly the foundation you could be building, but I do believe that it is wrapped around your home. And the foundation of your home is basically like you're starting over. Your, the advice that you've been given is good advice, but I want you to know something about this Six of Swords. This is a communication card, and I want you to know that this card right here and this one really tell the story about this Six of, of Swords. You are moving from choppy waters into much calmer seas. Because of your communication, because you have first and foremost wanted to make sure that everything is going to be okay and prioritized. It's been tough. It looks like December and even November have been tough. And coming into this year, you may have to make a move. You don't want to. But that decision is going to be up to you, my dear friends. So my lovely air signs... January is going to be a month where it looks like you're going to be putting it together. You're going to be communicating a lot. You will be winning. You're, you're going to win, yes. It's because you're, you're taking the time and you're making the decisions and you're asking for help in making those decisions. So remember, if you're a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, this is for you. January isn't going to be as tough as November and December of 2023, but we're going to get a confirmation and a last message from these beautiful foil cards. And what is that? Well, here we are. Yes, it doesn't surprise me a bit. This Eight of Cups, and we've had this a lot lately. Look how pretty this card is. Isn't that pretty? You see, the cups are stacked but there's one missing. Now, many people interpret this as someone is walking away. But my interpretation of this card in knowing the tarot for as many years as I have, this can happen either day or night. But this means the water. You see the water flowing. That means that Life is going on. Pardon me, I hit that camera again. So sorry. Life is going on, and you see there's water here in this particular Six of Swords. But with life going on, your journey is not done. And this particular person here is not walking away, but it shows that you've done everything that you could possibly do. But now you're walking toward the next step. What is the next step? The next step is the Nine of Cups. That's the one that's missing. You've, you've stacked them all up. You've stacked everything in your favor. You're going with the flow. Your journey is not done. You're moving on. And that is the succession of the cards as well. So now you're moving toward the Nine of Cups. And what is the Nine of Cups? It's your heart's desire, your wish fulfilled, your dream come true. It is the Yes card. So I want you to know that for January of 2024, a lot of decisions are being made. A lot of things are coming about for you. There may be a move that you're wanting or that you have to make. But you don't really want to, but you will. But I'm going to say that move or that position that you're in will prove to be one of the best decisions that you've made and you take your time and you think it through. 
I want to thank you so much for being here, my lovely air signs. I love it when you are. Please stop over and see me at PsychicSecrets.com. Get a reading with me. We have first-time caller rates that are fantastic. We can get a lot accomplished in 15 minutes. So I'm going to tell you, I've enjoyed this, but I want you to enjoy your January 2024 month. Here we go. We're starting off a new year. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.